All righty, Chef Buck here, and today we're cooking us up a tasty curry chicken bake. Now, it looks like fried chicken, but it's a lot better than fried chicken because we're not going to be cooking it up in a bunch of oil. Get you two and a half pounds of chicken. I'm using an all-natural chicken, you know, no antibiotics, no kind of hormones, you know. I don't want to eat some kind of angry, gargantuan, roid rage chicken. How good can that be to put in your body? But I will cover it up with a bunch of hot sauce and then one cup of milk. I'm using almond milk, but you can use buttermilk if you want. Go ahead and get that mixed up. Then we'll set this aside and let it soak in there while we throw together our breading mixture. Now I'm using panko breadcrumbs because once you go panko, you never go back. But you can use whatever kind you want. A little bit of onion powder and onion salt. Some curry powder, some garlic powder, a little bit of dry mustard, and some paprika. Then we're going to go ahead and seal this bag up and go ahead and shake these dry ingredients around and get them all nice and mixed up. Now I like to do this in a bag. You can do it in a bowl, but I think a bag is better for an even coating. So put your chicken pieces in here, just a couple pieces at a time. You know, drip that excess milk off of there. Go ahead and seal it up. Make sure you got some air in there. That way, you know, your pieces got room to, you know, to dance around so that they'll be nice and evenly coated. And you don't have to go all crazy mixing this stuff together. You know, just a few gentle turns will get them nice and coated. And then you can go ahead and shake off that excess breading and lay them out. If you got a nonstick pan, use that. I just got an old beat up pan here with a little bit of tin foil on there. Sprayed it down with a little olive oil. And basically you're going to continue shaking this stuff up until you got your pan nice and filled with all of this here uh, chicken. Don't shake it like this. See how sad I look? And then that's just going to clump up your... Uh, your breading. It will build up your forearm, but don't do it like that, you know. So once you get your pan all filled up, it should look a little something like this here. And then we're going to go ahead and slide it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about a half an hour. But keep an eye on it, you know, because oven temperatures vary, you know, but after a half hour, you should be able to get them out. They should look like they're starting to cook up and it'll be a good time to turn them over. And then we'll go ahead and slide them back in the oven and let it cook for another 15 or 20 minutes, you know. That curry powder is going to give it a wonderful golden color. And if you want to get a little bit of a crisp on there, you can go ahead and leave it under the broiler on each side for a minute or two. But then let them rest for about five minutes. Then throw them on a platter or a plate or whatever and you'll be ready to chow down. Super duper tender. I'm gonna have one more piece. Alrighty, one, two, three. I'm gonna get one more piece. I'm gonna get a small piece. Mm. It's really good. I could eat this whole plate, but I won't. I'll only eat half of it. And that, my friends, is a fine example of how not to eat your chicken. But give it a try. Let me know what you think. And bon appetit.